Hi guys, welcome to Caternix Corner. So I'm out here in the shop today uh, collecting eggs for incubation and also for a shipment that I have uh, that's scheduled to go out tomorrow morning. And that got me to thinking about a topic that I come across you know, quite a bit on some of the different Facebook group pages, and that is hatch rates versus fertility rates. Uh, if you order eggs from a breeder, a lot of times they will have what's known as a hatch rate guarantee, uh, which basically means that they're going to guarantee that a certain number of chicks will hatch out of the eggs that they sent you. Um, hatch rate is a formula that breeders use to determine the percentage of chicks that hatch out of a given set of eggs. Uh, for example, say you set 100 eggs and 50 of them hatched, uh, you would have a 50% hatch rate. Now, fertility rates is a little bit different. Fertility rates is a formula that breeders use to determine the number of viable eggs in a given set. Uh, for fertility rates is similar, but also include the number of eggs that develop or start to develop uh, in a given set, not necessarily the number of chicks that hatched out. Uh, figuring hatch rates is real simple. Uh, basically, you take the number of eggs that hatched and divide that by the total number of eggs set, and then you take the answer to that and multiply it by 100, that will give you your uh, percentage of hatch or a hatch rate percentage. Uh, figuring fertility rates now is a little bit different. Uh, you got a few different um, uh, situations that will apply to your fertility rates. So say you set 100 eggs and 50 of them hatch. That doesn't mean that you had a 50% fertility rate. What you need to do is open the remaining eggs uh, and look for some type of development and any eggs that showed you know development or signs of development they need to be figured into that formula so let's say that you set 100 eggs 50 of them hatched you opened up the remaining eggs and there was another 25 uh, that say stopped developing uh, you know halfway through the incubation um, you would have to add that to your original 50 giving you a 75 percent fertility rate um, I believe that uh, breeders should be using a fertility rate guarantee versus a hatch rate guarantee because there are so many things that are out of the breeder's control once those eggs leave the breeder's facilities. Uh, shipping being the biggest one. Uh, eggs that are shipped are subject to you know, rough handling, uh, extreme temperatures, whether it's hot or cold, uh, delays in shipping, lost packages, um, packages that when they're delivered they're set on your front porch out in the hot sun and the eggs you know uh, overheat uh, all that can uh, play uh, or can have an effect on how well your hatch goes so uh, also on the other end is incubation conditions um, that's another thing that is beyond the uh, breeders control uh, such as temperature humidity how stable your incubator is, uh, cleanliness of the incubator, all these can play a role in the success of your hatch. And another thing that could pertain to incubator issues is chicks that pip or start to unzip but are unable to hatch out. Uh, that is usually caused by an overly excited you know, newcomer opening up the incubator, wanting to take out the first round of chicks. And unfortunately, the chick that just pipped or started to unzip gets shrink wrapped inside the egg and is unable to hatch out and those eggs should not be figured into your hatch rate okay so you don't necessarily need to wait till hatch day to determine if the eggs are viable or not um, during incubation you can candle the eggs and look for signs of development uh, with quail eggs you can usually see some type of development by day seven but i recommend waiting to day 14 uh, when you're putting your eggs into lockdown and candle then. Uh, place your candling light against the large end of the egg. Uh, you should be able to uh, completely illuminate the air cell, uh, but the remainder of the egg is going to be dark, which is telling you that, you know, there's at least some type of development going on and most likely, you know, a, uh, a developing chick in there. Uh, if the egg uh, is completely illuminated, the entire egg, uh, basically you know is lit up that's pretty much telling you that that egg was uh, either not fertile or not viable 
Okay, so I would recommend that if you have a lower than expected hatch rate, that you open the remaining eggs and look for any signs of development and then figure your fertility rate. If you have a fertility rate, which is higher than the breeder's advertised hatch rate guarantee, uh, think about giving the breeder the benefit of the doubt. After all, it could have been something that you did or didn't do that caused the poor hatch. So guys, um, I hope this gave you, uh, you know, a little bit of insight into hatch rates versus uh, fertility rates and how those two numbers should be uh, figured in when you are determining the success of your hatch. So guys, uh, I want to thank you for joining me today. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please do so. Helps me out. You can get notified of any new and upcoming videos. Uh, thanks again, guys, and we'll see you on the next one.